Hello again, I'm at Go Outdoors. I just bought some of these really super expensive and probably not very nice ready meals because I'm on my way to near the South Downs, I think. And there's a route, a 70 mile ish route. Um, I've got my bike in the back. There it is, all loaded up. And the plan is just to yeah, head down tonight. I'm gonna to find somewhere to park up in the van tonight um, so I can get an early start tomorrow. Two days allocated for this ride. So it should be pretty good. I'm uh, I'm excited to get out and try this, this bike. I've got a few new bits on there. Um, but this is probably the first proper test. Um, yeah, I've done a few other little bits and pieces, but this is a proper overnight stealth campy, wild campy sort of thing, so yeah should be good i'll show you the route later or i'll pop it on the screen anyhow i'm gonna get going and uh yeah and i'll catch up with you when i get there of clear liquid two fabric things that look like giant tampons a syringe and a needle and thread deep breath edgewick said through gritted teeth with as it continued its endless circuits of the hangar he so i've made it to balcom I found a, an amazing little spot to park up in, a massive lay-by next to a church. It's really nice. It's a bit slopey, but I can make it work. I've just thrown the bike outside so I can uh, get a bit of room, make some dinner, because I'm starving. And then I think I'm going to try and get an early night. beef ragu with mushrooms. I'm gonna eat this and then I think I might shoot up to that um, station car park just because I know there's CCTV there. And this is a good spot but um, yeah I think it's probably the van's safer there when I leave it and I'm only up the road from there anyway so yeah gonna do that. So we're done parked up. I've moved to the station. It's perfect perfectly flat so I've done the right thing. I'm in the van. Not a lot of room in here the bike takes up a lot of room, but all I need is the bed. I'm pretty much going to just uh, hit the hay now and maybe have a hot chocolate. Oh no, I've got a film to watch. I'm going to watch John Wick, the first one. I went to see the fourth one yesterday. I think it was yesterday. And uh, I didn't understand anything, so I'm going to do the stupid thing and watch it all in the wrong order. I'm, I don't imagine there's much of a plot that I need to, to learn, but I fancied it anyway. I'm going to need counselling after watching it, though. I can't believe how many people die in that film. It's beyond belief. So I suppose if I'm going to get counselling, I might as well watch all four of them and just do it in one go. Anyway, I'm going to say goodnight. And I'm going to be up nice and early in the morning and get started with this ride. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a good test. And I'll show you my new stuff in the morning. The saddle being one, one of those things. You'll have to keep watching. Good night. about quarter past six. I slept really well all night. Slept through, which never really happens. But made a coffee. I do have breakfast, but I don't know whether I'm gonna bother because I just, I don't do breakfast really. But the first job, drink coffee, tidy up a bit here, and then get changed and on wherever I'm going to do and get going. I'm all loaded up, ready to go. Bike's done. 
I decided to go with breakfast. So this is an all day breakfast in a bag thing. I, I'm not hungry at all, but I'm gonna need energy today. It's so early, it's like half seven. I've got 40 miles to do. So I've really got to try and slow down and uh, take my time. I tend to rush everything and uh, it's not good today. So anyway, I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to head off. Uh, there's a little bit of a road ride before we get onto the, the proper route. So I'll probably stop somewhere there and uh, then show you what I'm doing. I'm not far in. And I'm straight into this amazing woodland. It's really cool here. Fantastic name for a place. I'm taking my first break. And I need it already. I've only done about five miles, I reckon. Lots of climbs, but that's why I'm here. For my uh, climb practice. It's been nice so far, really muddy. It must have been raining a lot down here. Well, I know it has. It's been raining everywhere a lot. But uh, yeah, these tires are coping quite well. I was going to show you my saddle. So I've gone with this, the Brooks Cambium C17. Just too many people recommended it. So I'm in, what was it, St. Leonard's Forest? Um, I think I'm just going to stop for five minutes, catch my breath and then carry on. Um, I was going to get the phone out actually and show you the route because I haven't really talked about it. Ross set this up for me. Let's see if you can see this. So there you go. That is the route. I started at the top here somewhere in Crawley and I'm working, I think I am, pretty much in Horsham or not far anyway. We're going down to Shore and by Sea which is near Brighton and then we're heading up back in a big loop so yeah you can see the um, climb profile. What is that? What is that? I trusted him to do one thing, one simple job, and he did it well actually. I said I wanted climbs and I got climbs. Anyway, I'm rambling. This is going to be another jump cut episode, I imagine. So yeah, five minute break and then carry on. There's some tiny little paths on this route. Nearly didn't see this one. I don't know if it's right, but we'll uh, we'll carry on and see what happens. Oh, that adjusts. Why would you want it up there? Hmm. We may have a problem. <laughs> I don't know if this is right, it can't be, can it? Nope, I had to turn around. Okay, my first detour. I'm gonna have to figure it out. I'm gonna go that way. I need coffee. Looking for somewhere to stop. Somewhere nice. Been quite a lot of road riding up to now but I'm on a bridle way now so hoping I'm going to come across something nice so I'm on the Downs Link which I think takes me all the way to shore and by sea so it might be a footpath all the way footpath, cycle path or bridle way 
Should be good anyway. I still haven't had my coffee though. And it's getting close to lunchtime, so I don't know whether to just push on and stop. We'll see, see what we come across. I have no idea where I am. Look at the state of this. And look at the state of this. I mean, I don't mind getting muddy, but titanium people has mud no respect. Anyway, I'm gonna have a coffee and I have a pasty. I hope I have anyway. I didn't leave it in the van. Ginster's pasty. Sort of food, isn't it? And uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a coffee. And the sun is coming out. I should have brought a cloth. Do. Sun is fully out now. <sighs> Nasty coffee today. It's going really well so far. I'm enjoying this ride, but I can tell how different it is to, to being at home. Well, Suffolk, sort of that area, because there's a lot of hills here and I can feel it already and I don't really know how far I've gone. 15 miles, something like that. This is called a hot lips thing. I haven't really used it. If you ever tried to drink out of a titanium pot, you'll know you'll just burn your lips clean off. So let's see if that does work. Yeah, works fine. Another sound purchase. So yeah, it's going well. The only thing, the bike is fine. No issues there. The saddle feels nice so far. I'm using these um, bib shorts as well. I've uh, decided to give them a, a trial, let's say that. I'm not committed yet. I might decide to just uh, go without them, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. I'm going to drink this, eat my pasty, and probably just chill out for 10, 15 minutes. There's no rush and it's nice here. And then carry on. So I'm about 20 miles in. Right there, in West Grinstead. So I come from A. So yeah, I reckon another 20 miles will see me at um, Shoreham by Sea. So not too bad. Oh, it's at 34, another 14 miles. So I'm all packed up and ready to go. Famous. That's a nice spot for a stop. And I really do have to take my time. I'm more than halfway through. It's only about half twelve. And I can't really set up my camp until it gets dark, so I could be sitting around for some time. Some big looking hills. 
I don't know if they are the downs. I don't know what the downs are really. Is it just hills? I'm gonna find out I suppose. The South Downs way. I wonder what that one means. Is that one mile to it or is this the first marker? This could be the beginning. Could be. Yep, jacket's off, sun's out. I'm warming up, it's lovely. Probably can't see it on here, but that's an incredible looking building. I haven't done much filming along here, it's so busy. I think it's because the holidays have started. But it's a nice ride. I'm still on that, um, what's it called, the Downs Link or something. Nearly at Shoreham. So, uh, yeah, I can't be far from there. We'll find out. Guessing this is Horsham. I'm gonna get a coffee if I can. I'm aware that all I ever talk about is coffee. But it's an addiction, okay? There's nothing I can do. Found a cafe. I've been calling it Horsley, and it's not as sure, isn't it? So yeah, I'm maybe being stupid. And look at this, the bravery. I'm surrounded by people talking to myself. Nice place this though, so I got coffee and a bit of cake coming, which is going to be nice. There's some posh granola. So I'm heading up onto the downs now. That was a huge climb into a headwind, which, you know, that's what happens, isn't it? But beautiful views up here. Shoreham was nice, I like that place. Be a place to spend a bit of time, maybe a couple of days look around but yeah apparently now we're heading up onto the downs and uh, I think we get to the highest point on this route very soon which looks beautiful so I'm looking forward to that everything's going well still still liking the saddle and I like these bib shorts as well they um, they really do they stay up which is you know what they're meant to do so they work yeah it's all going well so far so carry on. A decent uphill now I'm going downhill and I've got that evil looking climb that I pointed out earlier but uh, yeah it's only about 20 past four I don't really want to be going much further so we'll have to see I think I'm gonna go down get this next bit out of the way and then uh, see what I'm gonna do Amazing views. I might have gone the wrong way. I think I've got to get on this road. Yeah.
my legs are numb. That little section was hard going. Fun now, and the sun's out, look at that. So I think I found my spot for tonight. And it's right over here. Pretty flat, hidden out the way behind the hedge. No one would ever find me here. It's quarter past six, so there's a little while to go. I didn't want to go any further just in case I didn't find anywhere. And uh, also, I don't want too short a day tomorrow. And that's half the fun, really. Blind. Yeah, so I reckon I've done. I'll check it properly in a minute. 43, 44, something like that. And I think it's 66 in total. So I got 20 miles in the morning, which is not a lot really. And all the big climbs are done. So that's nice. That is nice. It's a bit of road noise here, but there's a bit of road noise everywhere in Britain, more or less. That kicked my ass today, I have to say. It was really nice, easy going, that whole park, uh, not parkway, wherever, the um, link road thing was super flat, nice and easy. And then all of a sudden, you get to the South Downs and it kills you. See you in a bit. I'm going to make dinner. Oh it's even more disgusting. starting to get cold. Spicy pork noodles. I've never had one of these, the fire pot ones. At least I don't think I have. That's what they're like. I've got nice coffee for the morning if I have horrible coffee tonight. So tomorrow's me will thank now me. Maybe not though, because tomorrow me can be a selfish little um, sod, selfish little sod at times. Right, just wait for this to boil, make coffee, eat pork and noodles, one of Caroline's flapjacks, an orange, tangerine, life is good. Why am I still wearing this hat? Been off the bike. That's good though. Obviously I didn't even realise I had it on. Which means it must be comfortable. pour this in here. Probably because I'm not too bright. I started without you. It's definitely edible. Hmm. It's not bad. Yeah. I would do it again. I can make better them because I have a dehydrator and I can make better. So I'm not going to do it again. I'm going to make my own. Maybe I can steal their recipe. Actually, that's uh, the ingredients are good. I mean, there's nothing bad in there. Well, I'm going to wait till it gets dark and then I'm going to put my tent up. It's getting really cold and it's going to get down to two degrees tonight. All right, the tent's up. Got an incredibly clear night. It has been a long day. Hopefully I'm going to sleep. I'm going to set the alarm nice and early. Five o'clock or something. I can get a good sunrise. I might as well. So anyway. Here's the tent, 
I got my um, duplex, the Z Pax tent, uh, my Thermarest chorus quilt, my Thermarest Neo Air hex therm, and then just some unknown pillow. I tied um, just tied one of the tent lines to the bike just because it was convenient, I suppose. A little bit of added security. I love this tent. I really do. I'm sure I've said it before, but I did the whole of the um, Appalachian Trail in that tent. It's 2,200 miles. Yeah, I did just about every night in that tent, and it's still completely fine. I mean, I look after it. I look after everything. I'm very uh, meticulous with my things. But it's a fantastic tent. I love it. And it weighs absolutely nothing. I would highly recommend it. Get one. I'll put a link below. Obviously, I don't make any money out of these links. Right. I'm going to say goodnight now then. There may be a night lapse. There may not. It depends how I feel. You'll just have to wait and see. But you're probably going to find out now. So I kept my feet warm in the night. It's the bike. A little frosty. Freezing last night. That was a cold night. Very cold night. I know it's supposed to get down to about two degrees, but everything's frozen, so maybe it got lower than that. But uh, I adapted. I had every layer of clothing on. My coat wrapped around my feet. And that just about worked. I need coffee and then I'm gonna pack up and probably get moving. Might stop for breakfast when it warms up a little bit. The sun's just come up. I had a peaceful night. Other than the cold, it was lovely. There we go. So I did just have a quick go with the drone. I couldn't resist it. It was good fun. Hopefully there's some footage. I don't even know if I recorded properly. I'm gonna have my coffee now though, and then pack all this away and get moving. <sighs> oh, I need that. can walk faster than this. So you call a granny gear. I mean, that's the beauty of having such a low gear. You can actually cycle everywhere. The problem I get is when I'm in that first gear, it's difficult to stay upright. Oh well. There 
a lot of gates. In hell, did you see that? fun I think make sure all the bags are still on that's a good test of this bike is not designed for that and it passed so I'm happy Lots of this this morning, which I'm having to push through. Uh, hopefully it's going to dry up, but I'm not sure. I think I've got one long bridle way all the way back now, it's about 10 miles. If it's like this, I'll have to find a diversion. Right, I made it, just finished. It was supposed to be an easy day, 20 miles, but it wasn't. Um, I didn't film a lot because it was just pushing through mud and they must have had a lot of rain. I know already, I've already said that. But I reckon I pushed the bike at least five miles or so. Which, to be fair, is still good for the training because there's lots of hiker bike on the GDMBR, so yeah. I needed to experience it, but I am worn out. I am worn out, but I haven't eaten properly. So I'm going to go and get some food and then go home and then probably go to bed. Um, all in all, I've enjoyed it though. It's been brilliant, especially yesterday or, or even this morning until I got out of the South Downs. It was um, just awesome. If you, I'll put that uh, the link down below to this ride. And if you want to do it, then you can. Um, I would say make sure there's been a dry spell, dry spell before because otherwise you'll struggle like I did. Um, other than that, yesterday even, the first half it was just perfect. And the South Downs are completely amazing. I had no idea. Can't believe I've left it this long. I am so muddy. I am absolutely filthy. And my bike is in the back and it is... I don't know. It looks like it's been excavated from somewhere. Whatever, I'll clean it later. Right, again, wittering on. I'm going to go and I might see you again. I'm so sorry I did this to you. I promise it will never happen again.